Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Can everyone hear me okay? Good. Okay, so uh, I am Jasbinder Boot, and I run the Enterprise ASIC Business Unit at MediaTek. Um, I thought maybe I should take a few minutes to describe what enterprise means before I go into my, into my presentation. So enterprise for MediaTek is really focused around infrastructure, right? Meaning cloud and data centers, meaning the, uh, the cell phone infrastructure, meaning networking, right? And my presentation today is focused around ASIC in terms of those end markets. Um, so many people know uh, uh, MediaTek, and you know many people know MediaTek for a lot of the consumer type of products that we already uh, operate in today. And those consumer type products end, range from smart edge to compute. And many people also know that we push the limits of technology in each one of those different areas. You know, we try to get the last milliwatt of power saved. We try to get the last megahertz of performance. We try to optimize area. And for that reason, MediaTek's been very, very successful in some of those markets. But perhaps what you don't know is what we are doing in data center and also in cloud. And what you'll see today is uh, we've actually been in this market for a while, right? And in the same way that we've been pushing or breaking technology barriers in uh, uh, smart edge and computing, we have been doing exactly the same in data center and cloud. And I'll share some of that with you, with, you, with you today. Now, by the way, I'm going to kind of, because of the limitation on time, I'm going to kind of keep this a little bit of high level. But I would welcome you all to come join me in, my, in, the, in the MediaTek booth, and I'll share with you where that is. And we can go into a lot more, a lot more detail. OK, so um, I thought I'd start with kind of sharing a little bit of the problem statement, and you know, many people have been talking about generative AI. So rather than me come up with a new one, I thought I'd borrow one from that one that everybody knows, NVIDIA. So this is something that Jensen shared at GCT, right? So, uh, and what you see here is uh, it's kind of, uh, uh, you can interpret it in many different ways, but the way that I interpreted it is if you look at across six years, the performance requirement has grown by 10 to the six. What does that mean? That means it's 10x every single year, right? So if you keep that in mind, and then you try to translate that into what does it mean for silicon, right? And because you know silicon is the heart of us being able to meet this performance, what it means is silicon becomes very pivotal, right? Number one, and number two, it's indispensable, right? You can't do these things without silicon, right? But if silicon can't meet those demands, how do you break those barriers? And today, I'm going to share with you how we break those barriers. OK, so in order to keep pace, I thought what I would do is divide this up into three key areas. Okay? And uh, those three key areas is, first of all, the computing performance. right? And you saw that from my, from my, my previous, previous slide. I like this terminology that somebody came up with, which is more than more. right? Many people come from Intel, like me, by the way, right? So we all know who, who more is, but you need more than more, right, from a performance perspective. So what does that mean? That means just process is not enough, right? Just moving to the next generation process or the most leading edge process is not enough. You've got to go beyond that. And I'll show you what MediaTek is doing to go beyond that. But if also if you go beyond that, it also means that you have to be able to integrate a lot more. And there are limitations on integration, right? So the way we overcome that is with packaging. But those packagings are reaching the limits as well. And I'll share with you what MediaTek is doing for those uh, packaging limitations as well. So it's not just about uh, uh, the computing performance, right? But you also have to move data. And you have to move data from one die to another die. You have to move data from one chip to another chip. You have to move data from one board to another board. You have to move data from east side of the data center to the west side of the data center. Right? And I'll share with you a little bit about what MediaTek is doing in terms of interconnect technology as well. And then last and certainly not, not least, you know, as you get more and more data, uh, you have to store more and more data. Right? You take the data, you do some computation on it, you store it somewhere, you bring it back, and you keep going round and round this loop. And uh, uh, you have to optimize 
for that, uh, that storage, meaning, meaning memory. And you have to optimize not just for external memory, but also internal memory as well. My definition of internal memory is memory that's in the device, so SRAM, for, for, for example. And I'll share with you what we're doing in terms of uh, uh, SRAM as well. Okay, so let me take each one of those uh, uh, at, a, at, a, at a time. Let's start with advanced process, right? So what does it mean? It means you have to get the maximum entitlement from that process, not just the first time that a, a process node is released, but every single time, right? And you've got to be there first at every single node. And then you have to get the best out of that node. What do I mean the best out of that node? Well, you have to get the lowest power, right? Everyone talks about power as well, so of course you have to get the, the lowest power. But you have to get the lowest power beyond what you could normally get in that process, right? The same also applies for area. You want to do this in the smallest possible area, right? For a number of reasons, not just cost, right? But designs are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? The third reason is because you want the highest performance. You want every single megahertz that you can get or every single hertz that you can get out of that, out of that silicon. Right? And I'll share with you in a, in a second here how we, how, how we do that. Then you have to be able to build this product. right? So you want to be able to get the best yield. You want to get yield better than what the normal process entitlement is. Right? And then, of course, you do all of this because you want to optimize it for the most demanding workload. So how do we do that? Well, MediaTek does it with, with uh, DTCO. So those that are not familiar with DTCO, DTCO stands for Design Technology Co-Optimization. What does it mean? It means you work very closely with the foundry partners as well as the EDA uh, uh, vendors to get the best out of, that, out, of that, uh, out of that process, right? From a design flow perspective as well as from a uh, silicon perspective as well. So what you do is you basically tweak the process. You come up with your own ingredients based on what it is you're trying to do. So it means you can't just use the regular foundry libraries. You have to develop your own. You have to develop your own libraries optimized for power, for performance, for area. In MediaTek, we've been doing that for many, many, many years. Almost two decades we've been, we've been, we've been doing that. Okay. So the second area is uh, uh, advanced packaging and, and you know, using, using chiplets. In fact, MediaTek's been using chiplets for many, many, many years, right? They've been using chiplets from what you can see, I guess, on your left-hand side here, right? Small die, small die, small packages, right? Where we stack one on top of the other. But we don't just stack die one on top of the other. We also stack die on top of each other and then stack a package, right? And you can see two examples here, right? Um, but that's on the, on, on the extreme, you know, the small side. But if you go to the extreme other side, right, so the large, large side, we've been building some of the world's largest packages for a while, right? Something that not many people are, are, are aware of, right? And I put three examples here on the, on the, bottom, of the bottom of the slide just to give you some perspective on what we're, what we're building. So what you see in the bottom uh, left-hand side first is we built the world's first eight chiplet or nine chiplet uh, uh, um, package, right? So what you see there is a core design, right? There's a logic die in the middle, and then there's chiplets on, two chiplets on either side of the, of the die, right? But that requires a lot of innovation, right? Because when we built that, there was no such thing as UCIE, right? So we came up with our own, right? We built our own, and we've enhanced that year over year over year, and we continue to do that. Again, so we can get more out of the process beyond the normal entitlement. The one that you see in the middle there is a hybrid uh, multi-chip package. In other words, it's a package uh, that has die inside of it, it has another die on top of it, and then it has a memory die on top of it as well in a package, right? And then you can scale it up or you can scale it X and Y. The picture there just shows you one version of the, of the scaling. But you can scale it in many, many different, different, different directions. And then on the, the, the last one that you see on the, on the right-hand side, that's the world's first COOS times two, right? In other words, everyone knows that there's limitations on COOS, you know, based on the reticle size, et cetera. So we wanted to go beyond that, right? Beyond what you could normally get. So we put two COOSes together, and we put those die together in the picture that you see on the, on the, on the right-hand side. World's first 
before anybody else got there. Only challenge is, not many people know about it, but you guys know about it now. Okay. The next one I talk about a little bit about is uh, interconnect technology. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, some of the interconnect technology didn't exist when MediaTek first got involved in doing die-to-die -die interconnect. So the middle one that you see there is the die-to-die -die interconnect. We have our own proprietary version. We call it M-Link, right? But we support every single standard. It doesn't matter whether it's UCIE, A, UCIE, uh, S, XSR, XSR+, we support them all, right? And then we also have our own chip-to-chip -chip or chip-to-edge uh, SODIs as well, internally developed at MediaTek. Right? And if you want to see this SODIs in operation, I'd welcome you to come look at it in our, in our booth. We have it up and running in our, in our, booth, in our booth today. Okay? But we're not stopping there, right? We're going beyond that because we're looking out into the future. So what happens out in the future, right? Electrical may no longer be sufficient. So we're going from electrical to optical, right? Meaning co-packaged co -packaged optics. And we also have co-packaged optics demo in our booth as well. So I'd also welcome you to come Come take a look at that in our, in our booth. So what does it mean? It means, well, MediaTek, we've been delivering interconnect solutions for many, many, many years. Okay. And then let me talk a little bit about uh, uh, memory, what it is that we're doing in, in memory. And remember I mentioned that there's internal memory and external memory. On the left-hand side, you see external memory, like specifically HBM, right? So we're developing our own HBM solutions and we're optimizing those solutions for performance and also for power, working very closely with the memory vendors to get the best out of that, out of that memory, okay? So from an internal perspective, um, what we're doing here is we're developing our own custom memories, right? And we're developing the custom memories based on specific workloads that come from generative AI, right? Not every workload is the same. And every workload has different requirements. So what we would do is we work very closely with our customers to develop memories that are optimized specifically for their workloads. Right. OK, so um, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, how long MediaTek has been doing these type of technologies. And this slide here demonstrates kind of how long we've been, <laughs> we've been doing this. So you can see right at the top, uh, first the, the top row is packaging, right? Multi-die packaging. Of course, we started off with, uh, uh, with flip chip packaging and putting die on top of each other. But you can see we've gone from flip chip, we've gone to info, to coos, uh, fan out, package on a package on a package. And now we're also investing in EMIB as well as uh, coos L as well, right? And the way that we do that is we invest heavily in test vehicles, so when your design comes along, a lot of the problems have already been solved for manufacturability. Okay. Um, I talked a little bit about die-to-die uh, -die interconnect, and, and you can see we've been developing die-to-die -die interconnect since uh, 2018, right? So well before standards like, uh, like, like UCIE. Okay. But we do also support UCIE, right? We have UCIE 16 gig, UCIE 32 gig. In fact, also in our, in our booth, we have a demo of UCIE. And our demo on, in our booth has uh, UCIE not on, only on N4P, but also on N3P as well, right? So I'd welcome you to come check that, check that demo out. Now, one thing most people are probably not so much aware of is the investments that we've put in developing our own CERDES, right? So we've been developing CERDES since 2018. And you can see here, we started off in 28 gig, we've developed 56 gig, uh, developed 112 gig, and as I mentioned earlier, the demo in our booth is 226. And very soon, very soon, you'll see 448 gig, right? We've already started the, the development of our 448 gig CERDES. Right? You may recall at the beginning, one of the things I talked a little bit about was um, um, leading edge process, right? You've got to be first to the leading edge process and get the maximum entitlement out of that process. Right? So, uh, here you can see that we've been at the, in the first wave on almost every single node. We were first to N7, uh, first to N4, first to N3, and we're already working on N2 today. Right. So now, um, uh, uh, this is all great, right? So you, know, you can put all these things together, 
right? But ultimately, you've got to be able to build them, right? So, um, uh, oops, sorry, I got to the wrong, oops. Sorry, I think I missed a slide. Oh, this one, right? You've got to be able to build them, right? So, um, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about how long and uh, what MediaTek is capable of doing in terms of building the devices as well, right? So as I mentioned, the ASIC business unit has been around for a while. And what you see here is that we've shipped over 1 billion ASIC units uh, kind of at the uh, end, of, uh, end of last year, right? So what does that mean? That means you have to have a whole supply chain to be able to build these products, right? And we have that supply chain. We've been doing it for many, many, many years. Of course, we leverage a lot of what we do from the consumer business, but we can take all that learning and adapt it to data center and cloud as well. Okay. Let me just take a step back. Okay, so uh, um, this is my second to, second to last slide. So I just wanted to kind of summarize a little bit of what I've been, what I've been talking about, right? Um, so we've, like I said, is MediaTek's been breaking barriers for many, many, many years, right? It's not the first time we're doing it. It certainly won't be the, the, the last time that we're doing it as well. And we've been breaking it in many different, different areas. First of all, with advanced process, right? We've been using DTCO to get the maximum entitlement from a process. It doesn't matter whether, as I said, if it's performance or power or area uh, or yield, right? We've been pushing the limits of, uh, of, of technology. And we continue to push the limits of technology, not just in uh, uh, advanced process, but also in packaging as well. Right. I shared with you a little bit about what we've been doing in historically, right, from COAST, uh, but now we're also investing in, in uh, EMIB as, a, as, as, as well. Uh, we're heavily invested in interconnect, right, so the, the, not just the, the, the CERDES, but also the die-to-die -die interconnect. Any interconnect that you can think of, MediaTek is investing very, very heavily, heavily into, those, into those areas. And last but certainly not least, we're also investing heavily into, into memory as well. Right. And that memory is a custom SRAM that I, that I talked about before, but also optimizing HBM and also many other interfaces like LPDDR4, et cetera. Okay. So with that, uh, I'll share with you my, my last slide. Like I said, is we have all of these technologies available uh, to share today. Um, so I would welcome you to come see us in booth B5. All these demos are live, right? So you can go there and you can see our 224 gig LR30s. You can see our uh, uh, UCIE die-to-die -die interconnect. Uh, you can also see a hybrid CPO demo. Uh, there is also an LPO and a HRO demo there as well. Uh, and of course, much, much, much more. You can see what our ASIC methodology looks like as, uh, as, as well. Okay, so, uh, so last thing is, you know, please, please do come to our booth. Please do come, come see us. I'd, I'd welcome kind of talking more in detail as I said, this was a little bit high level, so I kept it at relatively high level due to, due to time. Uh, and so with that, I'd like to thank you all for, for spending the time with us today. All right, thank you.